What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video, I want to show you how to map your MIDI controller to any software instrument that you're using inside Logic Pro. But before I get into that video, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. First day of the month, 365 days, blank pages for you to just create something amazing. So yeah, let's dive into this video. I've got a question from DJ Zeki345 on my Instagram. And he just asked me how to map the MIDI controller to any software synth that you're using in Logic Pro. So I thought the best way to do that is through video and hopefully it will help you and other people. Let's jump in. So I've got a little synth part here, a little synth pad. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you in both Massive and Alchemy. Some, some of you, you might not have Massive, but it does, it's the same procedure, the same um, principles applied, do you know what I mean? So I'll show you on Massive and I'll show you on Alchemy because we've all got Alchemy. I'm just gonna change the cutoff, so that's like a, an obvious thing to change uh, or use when you're mapping to your MIDI, your MIDI controller. So first of all, what you need to do is click on the cutoff or whatever parameter is you want to control. Go to Logic in the top left corner. As you can see, it says Learn Assignment for Fill or Cutoff. And then all you need to do is click on that. You can see there's no message received yet. So what we're going to do then is assign knob two to that cutoff. You see in the screen that it's learned and then click learn mode come out of that and you can see the cutoff is being used so you can hear it job done so that's in massive so i'll quickly show you how to do the same thing in alchemy So what we're going to do here in Alchemy is we're going to control the cutoff again. So click on the cutoff, go to Logic Pro at the top corner, control surfaces, learn assignment for low pass cutoff, click on that. It's no message received yet. Choose what knob you want to use. We're going to go for knob 3. And as you can see on the uh, alchemy that it's already moving click on learn mode come out of that by clicking on the x and you're away quite straightforward you can do that with any parameter on your synths or in, in logic so let's click on the fader see if we can do that there and so i'm going to try it on the fader so we can control the faders on here so i'm going to click the fader go to logic pro control surfaces learn assignment for volume no message received yet i'm going to use i'm going to use fader one you can see on Logic Pro and as I'm moving my hand as well you can see that it's learned the mode so we're going to click out a learn mode click out of that box and now we can control the volume so yeah I hope that video has helped nice quick tutorial for you to show you how to map your MIDI controller to any parameter in Logic Pro make sure you follow me on Instagram I'm, I'm always posting out little tips and tricks that I don't always post on YouTube and yeah we can just connect on Instagram. If this video has helped at all, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, I appreciate that. As per usual, I appreciate your time, thank you for watching, music is life. Peace.